This is the deadliest spider in North America, known as the Black Widow, the third deadliest spider in the world. Besides being deadly, it's also known to have one of the strongest spider silks on the planet. It's said that their web has a higher strength than high-grade steel. So I'm going to be risking it all and testing if this is actually true well, by trying to extract a web from a Black Widow and then testing its tensile strength. Six, seven, This is a female Latrodectus hesperus, also known as the North American Black Widow. They're famously known for having this red hourglass shape on their abdomen here. They get their name from instances where after their eggs had been successfully fertilized by a male, scientists observed that they proceeded to eat the male. Although scientists now think that this is more of an anomaly that only happens when the females are really hungry and the male can't get away from her like in a cage in a lab, which is where they saw it happening. But regardless of this fact, we do know that the black widow's bite can be very deadly. Its bite can lead to systemic toxicity that includes diffuse pain, muscle spasms, seizures, chills, fever, nausea, vomiting, sweating, severe belly, back or chest pain. So you do not want to get bitten by one of these ladies. My friend actually actually found this specific spider in his house and was going to kill it, but I told him that I wanted it because I wanted to test the tensile strength of its web. So the question now is how do I get a single strand of spider silk from it? After looking it up, it turns out that it's not that hard to anesthetize spiders. You can just put some CO2 in their enclosure and it safely knocks them out for a while. But I didn't want to artificially pull out spider silk. I wanted the Black Widow to make it naturally so it represented how strong it is in nature. And so I'm gonna just try to get it out of its home and see if it'll string out some silk for me to use. Spiders make a lot of different silks that are specifically tailored to what they wanna do. The strongest of the silks is called dragline silk. For the Black Widow, it's what they use as scaffolding in their webs. But they also use this silk when letting themselves down from a branch or a high spot. This is their lifeline, so it has to be strong. So let's see if I can get it to let itself down from the stick. Okay, there it goes. Now I have one single strand of Black Widow silk. It's so weird, you can barely see it, but you can definitely feel it. It's like this invisible force that just tugs on you when it gets on your hand and it breaks. Look how thin this is. Only when the lighting is just right can you even see a single strand. I've wrapped it around these two sticks now and I'm just going to place these hooks of wire on it and see how many we can put on it before it breaks. So each of these weighs about 0.13 grams. To know the tensile strength, I'll take the weight divided by the cross-sectional area of the silk. In order to get the cross-sectional area, I took a strand of fishing line that I know is exactly 0.3 millimeters. Then I took this same strand of spider silk after it broke and I put both of the strands under my microscope. And I saw how many pixels across the 0.3 millimeter line was. And then I saw how many pixels across the spider silk was. So at its thinnest section, the silk was about 3.8 micrometers. So now I'm gonna put each weight on and we'll see how strong it is and we can compare to other materials as we go. One. <laughs> Two. Three. We're trying to figure out the tensile strength of spider silk. But what can you do with that information? Well, for one thing, you could design a web that's strong enough to hold a human if you wanted, using the cloud-based CAD software from our sponsor, Onshape. Onshape is a professional-grade CAD and PDM system. You can even simulate strength tests like we're doing in real life here. But what sets Onshape apart from other companies is that it's built on the cloud. So there's no clunky software that you have to install, and wherever you go, you have access to it. This means that you can share and collaborate with others similar to a Google Doc. Onshape also has a GitHub inspired method of branching and merging. So if someone has an idea to alter a part of a design, they can create a branch and work on their idea without disrupting the main design. And they can also merge in that branch later if they want. This is one of the many things that allows teams that use Onshape to move quickly and efficiently. 
With Onshape, you still get all the features you expect from a professional CAD system like part design, assemblies, drawings, FEA, surfacing, configurations, and much more. So if you're an engineer working with other engineers or simply a hobbyist that loves to create, then go to onshape.pro slash action lab or click the link in the description to try out Onshape for free for up to six months. Also, if you actually do make a simulation with Onshape showing a human caught in a giant black widow web, please share it with me. Now let's get back to our experiment. Four. <laughs> Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh, that was rough. Nine. 10, 11, oh, 11. Okay, so that was able to hold 1.408 grams. That means its tensile strength is 1.09 gigapascals. That's literally stronger than high grade steel. The ultimate tensile strength of different steel varies between 0.4 and 0.9 gigapascals, but we just got over one gigapascal. And not only that, since steel is six times more dense than spider silk, that means that the black widow silk is about six times stronger than steel per gram. But is this how strong their web actually is? Well, I thought of a way to actually test the individual strands of its web inside its home. If I just put the whole jar on a scale and then zero it, I can grab one single strand of the web inside and then pull up on it. So the negative weight I get on the scale is the weight that one strand could withstand. Really hard to see, so I have to use this light. Okay, I've got it. This got up to 1.6 grams. So now we're over 1.2 gigapascals. This is amazing. It held even more weight than when I tested it with hooks. I actually found a published study that tested the tensile strength of black widow webs like I did here. And they found that their dragline silk averaged about four microns thick, which is almost exactly what I measured, so that's good. And their ultimate tensile strength average was 1.1 gigapascals. So we were able to very accurately confirm their results just using these simple tools at home. But I definitely can't recommend trying this for yourself with a black widow. So if I was going to get bit by a radioactive spider, I would want it to be a black widow. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab and we'll see you next time.